Welcome back to Beitel Asad. This is Issa Martel, and this is Harnish Vecten footage uh, from a study group here in Minneapolis that meets on Saturday mornings. Unfortunately, due to my work schedule, I rarely can make it, but in this case I did. And we got some sparring footage here that we can look at. And we'll just watch the whole little chunk of exchanges, uh, which is only a couple minutes long. And then I'll replay them in slow motion, and we'll talk about them. And I'll explain at least what I was trying to do in <coughs> the exchanges. So here... Obviously, or maybe not obviously, if this is your first time seeing any of this, I am wearing the mid to late 15th century into the 16th century Ottoman armor, which is me walking toward the camera right now. Um, and Patrick, who I'm fighting, is... I believe in 14th century armor? I'm not sure. Late 13th? I'm not exactly sure about European armors that much. Um, but um, I'm not wearing uh, my scale skirt. That was so we would be kind of wearing the same type of armor. Um, but under the my caftan uh, I have my fold legs on. Uh, you can never really see them anyway, but there are thighs, uh, armor under there as well. The skirt that I wear normally protects my hips and my butt area. <laughs> um, and it's really good. I would wear it and consider be like fully heavy armored. I would wear that. A lot of times, um, if you see a kit like mine, like a Krug, which is the type of breastplate style, um, this is what they're wearing. They don't have the uh, skirt on, nor do many of the uh, museum display pieces anyway. Do they put a uh, shoulder armor on them? I believe I only ever seen one or two photos that have some sort of pauldrons. Normally it's just the uh, male that you're wearing under it. But I consider um, like your full heavy kit to be wearing everything. So here we go in the slow motion. This is the first exchange. You can see. Let's see what's going on. I don't think we ever fought before in armor, so we decided to just kind of go a little slower and um, just find our way through things. I come up here, I believe when we go in here, he gets me yeah, a lightly on the chin there and I get him in the armpit there. Um, so um, that was two nice shots, and we both landed them um, at the same time. Let's see the next exchange. I try a different guard, the hanging guard. <laughs> so see there, I try to knock his sword out of the way, and I grab it. Um, right there. I I should have turned my shamshir around and thrusted his back. Um, so right there you see he has my shamshir, but if you watch it again, um, I let it go on purpose uh, to draw my dagger. But I don't know why I couldn't grab it. Um, I don't know if it had shifted down into my sash or something. Um, and that caused that to happen because if you look on the ground the scabbard and everything slid out 
so that caused me to die. So note to self, mount my Khanjar better. So guys, so now I took out the Khanjar and the Sapar. Try to do some cool moves here. Ooh, slashed right across his neck there. You can watch that one again. That one was pretty good. Um, I think that's what he pointed. Yeah, it's not his neck. It was like his collarbone. It would have went through. So let's see here. Grab over in the bind. Was that the same thing? Yeah, I think it was two of the same cuts in a row. That was a pretty nice one though. Here I try this guard. So see, um, he actually gets a thrust in on me. He goes there, goes there, uh, right there. He gets the thrust. Um, you can see I was holding the dagger kind of pointed at him and that raised my shield and I will add those comments into the discussion on shields and keeping them straight up and down. Like here, now I keep it up and down like a wall and that kind of prevents that stomach uh, thing. So I use the shield there. What I'm trying to do is stab him or bind him somehow, and I went for the next stab there, but I, I didn't hit his neck, I hit the side of his helmet. <laughs> but uh, we both went down. Um, and that was the last match. Uh, this was really fun doing this. Uh, you can um, watch probably this in slow motion and see the moves better if you like. I mean, if you really watch the video, but otherwise, um, that's it. That's more um, experimentation historically using uh, full armor, including the mail there. Uh, the mail adds a lot of weight and everything, and it changes the game to actually trying to uh, pierce the mail, and it kind of changes it into a much different game than just uh, like counting how many times you can get hit.